All right, what is up you guys? My name is Giovanni and welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys the cheapest way to get an LS motor into any small block Chevy equipped vehicle. This video is a tag on to my original how to LS swap basics video, which can be found in the link below. This video is just a tag on to talk about motor mounts and uh, different styles and whatnot to that video. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, zoom the camera in and let's get started. So what I have for you guys here is probably the cheapest, most affordable solution in order to drop an LS into basically any GM vehicle that ever had an option for a small block Chevy or even big block Chevy, I believe. So what this is, uh, and forgive me, I don't remember uh, exactly what brand this was. This was a eBay purchase, but these are what are called small block Chevy to LS conversion plates. I know that ICT Billet makes some, there's a ton of these on eBay. Honestly, if you just look up LS to small block Chevy plate or adapter, you'll get a million results. This set in particular, I think runs about $30. And basically all it is is these two plates and the hardware for them. So I'll go ahead and show you, I have a set of these running on my Chevelle right now and I'll go ahead and show you guys kind of a close up of what that looks like. So basically these four large holes are the part that mounts up to the LS motor itself. And then all these small holes, it gives you basically two options. You can basically go an inch forward or back on the plate so small block Chevy mounts are three holes so you have your one hole down here on the bottom and then you have two holes up top and then again this plate just gives you the option to either move the motor back or keep it in stock position it's a really simple plate these ones are just like steel with zinc plating on them for I'm guessing corrosion resistance and then you just have two different styles of bolts you have these bolts which I believe are for the small block Chevy mount and then you have the tapered Allen head bolt to go in flush with the uh, motor mount plate so again very simple mount but they work these allow you to basically just drop the LS engine exactly where the small block Chevy was plus or minus an inch. Nothing really to it. I'm sure if you wanted to, you can make a mount like this, but for $30, really, I mean, I wouldn't even bother. Get them for $30 online. This doesn't have to be a very structural part, I mean, but it's half inch thick steel. I mean, this is not gonna be a, a failing point for your motor. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the camera and show you guys kind of up close how they work. Uh, and then we'll come back to the table and we'll talk a little bit more about motor mounts and uh, yeah, so let's do that. All right, I'm gonna try my best to show you guys just real quickly. It's a little dark, but I hope you guys can bear with me. So this right here, this is the small block Chevy part. And you can see this gold part. Those are the exact same motor mounts that I just showed you guys at the table. But if you guys have a small block motor, you already know what your small block uh, mounts look like. Basically, they're a clamshell style. You just keep pretty much all the parts to the small block Chevy, and then they have a bolt that passes through them. And once that's lined up, you pass the bolt through it, bolt it in, and it's pretty much good to go. It's really simple. Uh, you can't really screw it up, and that's why I run these plates. And as you can see, this LS engine sits pretty much exactly where you would want it to. Uh, this is a 65 Chevelle. And you can see, um, I have some decent clearance to the firewall. I think if I wanted to, I can scoot the engine back a little bit. Honestly, I like it where it is, right there. So, yeah, I mean, nothing really to it, guys. So yeah, obviously a very simple mount. Really not much to it. Again, this is for a small block Chevy, and I believe big block Chevy, to an LS. Obviously, if your car didn't have a small block Chevy or had an option for one or it's not even a GM vehicle, you're going to have to just go ahead and search online for a mount for you or you're going to have to custom fabricate it. If this is your first swap, uh, hopefully it is a GM vehicle because that will make your life a lot easier or hopefully it's a vehicle that's been swapped many times before. But, you know, if you have to fabricate something, it's not too big of a deal. And what makes it really simple is the fact that the LS has this four bolt pattern. Basically, make a plate with four bolts in it and that lines up with the motor. 
and mount that to the frame somehow. There are some universal kits. I'll go ahead and show you guys a picture of one right now. These basically take a mount like this and they come with a frame mount that you basically weld in wherever you choose. Those actually work really well as well. As long as your frame is square, and you can find some good use in those. But yeah, this really isn't that long of a video. It's a really, really quite simple. Motor mounts shouldn't be what are holding you guys back on your uh, LS swaps. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Stay tuned for the next video, which is talking about the fuel system. And if you guys haven't, again, I'll post the link in the description below for the original video talking about the uh, basics of LS swapping an engine. Uh, if you guys like this video, go ahead and drop me a like down below. If you guys uh, enjoy the channel and you want to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, and if you guys have any questions, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.